Abrams M1A2 CPV-3 is a modernized configuration of the Abrams main battle tank in service with the US Army. The new version offers enhanced protection and survivability, as well as higher lethality than its predecessors. The tank also features various advancements in technology, including improved armor, communications, reliability, sustainment, and fuel efficiency. Abrams M1A2 CPV-3 orders and delivers. U.S. Army Tacom Life Cycle Management Command placed an order worth $92.2 million with General Dynamics Land Systems to upgrade its M1A2 CPV-2 Abrams tanks to the M1A2 CPV-3 configuration in December 2015. The first Abrams M1A2 CPV-3 initial production vehicle was delivered to the U.S. Army in October 2017. General Dynamics Land Systems also received a $270 million contract from the U.S. Army Tank Automotive Command to manufacture 45 Abrams M1A2 CPV-3 tanks in October 2017. The U.S. Army placed an order with General Dynamics for the upgrade of 100 M1A1 MBT to M1A2 CPV-3 in July 2018. General Dynamics Land Systems received a $714 million delivery order from the U.S. Army to upgrade additional 174 M1A1 MBTs to M1A2 CPV-3 standard in January 2019. Design and features of Abrams M1A2 CPV-3. The M1A2 Abrams SEP V3 retains the layout of the M1A2 MBT with the driver's cab at the forward center hull, turret in the middle, and power pack at the rear. The tank integrates the line replaceable module technology to enable easy maintenance of the fleet. The tank integrates a joint tactical radio system, handheld, man pack, and small form fit radio to ensure network readiness and interoperation with future brigade combat teams. The MBT measures 9.7 meters long, 3.7 meters wide, and 2.4 meters high, and is manned by a crew of four, including a driver, a commander, a loader, and a gunner. The main gun fitted on the MBT is M256 120mm Smoothbore Cannon, which can fire M829A4 Advanced Kinetic Energy and Advanced Multipurpose Rounds to defend armored vehicles, personnel, and low-flying aircraft. The tank features a low-profile common remotely operated weapon system, installed with a 12.7mm machine gun. A 7.62mm M240 machine gun is also mounted coaxially with the main gun. Abrams Tank Observation and Fire Control. The tank is fitted with improved forward-looking infrared to detect targets. The IFLA employs long and mid-wave infrared technology to enhance target acquisition, identification, and engagement compared to the existing second-generation IFLA. The crows will be equipped with an upgraded date camera that uses picture-in-picture -picture technology to combine different fogs. It offers a 340% larger scene in white fog. The ammunition data link on board the tank ensures the programming of the M829A4 and AMP rounds. The hull and turret integrate a new armor package for superior protection against threats from an improvised explosive device. The tank can be hinged with reactive armor and slat armor. The Crew Duke V3 counter remote control deed electronic warfare system protects the crew from roadside bombs and eat attacks. Either side of the turret is fitted with M256 barreled smoke grenade dischargers. A smoke screen can also be laid by an engine operated system. Engine and mobility of ABR AMS M1A2 SCPV3 tank. The M1A2 SEP V3 is powered by a Honeywell AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, which develops a power of 1,500 horsepower. The auxiliary power unit under the armor enables the tank to operate on board systems with a reduced probability of detection during silent watch operations. The generator allows for the turret operation without the power from the main engine when the vehicle is in a stationary position, resulting in improved fuel efficiency. The tank is also equipped with advanced power generation and distribution systems, such as an improved amperage alternator, a slip ring, enhanced hull power distribution unit, common remote switching modules, and a battery monitoring system. The running gear includes seven road wheels with a drive sprocket at the rear, an idler at the front, and two return rollers on either side. The first, second, and seventh road wheel stations are fitted with rotary shock absorbers. Thank <laughs> you.